Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to the start of our brand new series, Disney Top 5s, where we're going to be covering all of our favourite things across Walt Disney World. Today's video is going to be on our top 5 attractions in the Magic Kingdom, and so without further ado, let's, let's do it! It's the two please, Top 5! So, in number 5 is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. That's right. So this is in New Fantasyland. Is it still New Fantasyland or is it now just well, Fantasyland? It's, I think people still call it New Fantasyland. It's in New Fantasyland. Yeah. Um, and it's the roller coaster, family roller coaster that is themed around Snow White. Um, so we love this because we followed it from the get go. Yeah, right from the initial sort of plans were leaked all yeah. the way through construction. Yeah. And I like the fact that it kind of does tell a story. You kind of start off by going into the mine and then you yeah. come out of the mine and then you see at the very end you see the um, dwarf's house mm. with Snow White Don't dancing like in there. And isn't that part as well got original animatronics? Yes, that's right. So the animatronics in there are repurposed from um, Snow White's Scary, scary Adventures. adventures. Yeah. yeah. Uh, including that awful, awful evil queen at the end. Yeah. When she's disguised as the haggard old witch. Yeah. Yeah. And I just really like this ride because it's really smooth. I like the ride vehicles um, because they yeah. rock the slightly. Swing. Sort of mechanics really cool. Yeah, I like the fact that um, when you go through the mine, I think the the animatronics of the dwarfs are really cool yeah. with the projections on their faces. Um, and we have never um, been in the normal queue. We always no. fast pass it, but apparently the normal queue is amazing as well, which is a plus because it does tend to have quite a long wait. Um, but because um, we've always fast passed it, we don't mind the fact that it is a slightly shorter ride. People yeah, do say that. That is definitely why it's. At number five and not yeah. maybe higher up in the list is because it is a little short yeah and um, what it does is great you know it, it does feel like a, in itself a good package but maybe it's, it could just be a little bit longer number 10 seconds or 20 seconds yeah or something. yeah but i do love it and i also really like the photo pass video that you get as well yeah. once you've been on that's it that's a good one we got some quality ones of them yeah and overall i just really like it i think it was great theming i think it was perfect for new fantasy land mm -hmm. um yeah so that's why it's number five Okay, and at number four, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, in Adventureland. Yes, in Adventureland. So I might get a bit of flack for putting it at number four. Um, I can understand why my people might think it should be higher. Mm. Or would it be higher or lower on your list if you cut them down to one? Anyway. Um, Some people love it. Yeah, I mean, we love it. but Yeah, we love it. The fact is, I think there's better versions of the ride out there in different parks. I've never been on them, so I no. love it. I've been on the Paris one and I think that's great, I mean... Do they speak in French? Mm, yes, I think they do. Mm, Paris is a funny one where half the language is in French, half is in English. French pirate. You can know why, but... It's what, what I it's... like the Orlando one. Anyway, I like yeah. the queue as well, it's cool. Going back to Orlando, yeah. Queue's cool. Um, the set pieces are fantastic. You know, it's a classic bit of Disney Imagineering. I love the bit when you first go in and then you've got the massive big boat. Yeah. Um, that the like Barbosa. Yeah, that whole like room. It just feels massive. Yeah. And then you've got like the cannons going off and you can feel like a slight breeze. I just really love that part. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm in Disney when I'm on that ride. It's a really classic attraction. Yeah, and it's one of our traditions because it's yeah. our first ride in the Magic Kingdom we do after breakfast. Yeah, so technically it's our first ride that we ever do on holiday because mm -hmm. Magic Kingdom is always the first park and then Pirates right. is the first ride. So yeah, it's got yeah. like a special place in my heart for that. I will say as well, um, one thing that I love about this ride is something I look at for every sort of Disney dark ride. Um, and it's why things like The Little Mermaid didn't really make the list for me is because I spoil things for myself and I yeah. look around. And in my eyes, a great dark ride is where you can look around and look at the places you're not really you supposed to be ceiling. looking at. Yeah. And it still works. And Pirates does that for me. Yeah. Um, thankfully, because it's at in, in night scene, so it kind of looks like a night sky. Yeah. Um, whereas if you look at something like Ariel or Little Mermaid, whatever it's called, yeah. um, you look up and you can see the roof and that's a bit... Eh. What did you think about um, the change of the redhead scene? I mean... Do you think that made it better or worse? Or just not? I prefer the old one. I'm, I'm going to stick by it. You know, I know obviously in today's political climate it ain't great, but it's a sort of picture of, well, loosely based history. Disney pirates aren't really pirates, but yeah. you know, it's, it's how things were. So yeah. I feel like it's kind of important to see. I don't know. I just love the ride. I love everything about it. The queue, like I say, is great. We found like loads of things that we didn't notice in the queue mm. the first time around, like 
when you like, yeah, look, look down, there's like lower windows that have got things in. Yeah. And I just like the fact that it's quite cool in there and it does feel like you're outside. That whole like outside indoors thing. And I the really, smell really like. that. What was it? Bromine, is it? Yeah, like the Disney water smell. Yeah, that, that water smell. Yeah. The smell and, of old. And I just really like, like I say, the boat scene and obviously the traditional, like, yo ho, yo ho, Pirates Life of Me scene. I like the fact that it's got a song and that there's so much, like, it's a massive fandom to do with yeah. pirates. I love Adventureland. I just love everything about it. Yeah. And I'm a big Monkey Island fan, and there's some parts of Monkey Island which are clearly taken from um, pirates. pirates of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. like the guys behind the prison cell yeah. trying to get the key off the dog. I also think it's cool Perhaps. how they do that kind of like overlay thing at Halloween where they have the live actors in yeah. there. Like I would really like to see that yeah. as well. I would like that. Mm -hmm. It would be quite scary. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's our number four. That's number four. So at number three <laughs> is Big Thunder Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, this is in Frontierland and it's another kind of outdoor family coaster. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Thunder Mountain so much? Um, this it's is quite gonna, high on Willis. Yeah, this is going to be something I'll repeat quite a lot, but it's a full package. Mm. Um, from where the way it's executed, I think it's pretty done pretty perfectly. It cool, it's cool to look at, isn't yeah. it? Like from the outside, you yeah. get some good pictures and things. That's another, I think another great ride actually, is the sort of, the person who's watching the ride's perspective. And Big Fun is one of those rides where you look at it and you go, yes. Yeah, I, I want to ride that. that. Yeah, but it's also fun as well, just to like kind of stand and people watch and watch yeah. people go around. And surprisingly fun ride at the back. Um, I, I, and at the front, it's yeah, fun for I, I, I didn't really think I would enjoy it that much. I was a bit worried that it would be a bit too soft for me, but mm. I'll tell it's you not. what, put it, get at the back and at night time it does throw you around a it bit. It does whip you around. And actually at night as well, I just think because it's not like the track isn't as obvious yeah. and things. It does feel a it little bit It looks really way more better at night. I'd yeah. definitely say that's the time I would ride it if you can. Mm -hmm. um, the only downside I find about Thunder Mountain is the queue, because obviously mm. it's all outdoors and there's not air conditioning or not much air conditioning. Yeah. Um, so that's the only thing that lets it down, but we always fast pass it anyway, so we just kind of like straight through to the ride. Um, but I do love it, and it's again a classic attraction. Everybody likes it. Mm -hmm. It's just really fun. Yeah, like Pirates. Um, People do debate that there's better versions out there in other parks. We haven't ridden them, so... Yeah, we're just going by what we know. Yeah, it's ours. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we live in the UK, Disney World's ours. Yeah. So <laughs> that's our what we love. Park, I suppose. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to give special mention of that is the little bats on the strings. Oh, yeah. Love them. <laughs> it doesn't look tacky at all. I would also as well, next time, I would like to try and time it. I've seen people do it where you can the kind of time it for the fireworks. Because oh, yeah. I think that would be amazing. amazing. And I really Thanks like gosh. Frontierland. Yeah, I love Frontierland. It's just really cool. So yeah, that's number three. Three. And at number two is Splash Mountain. So again, another mountain on the list. The second mountain of the Indeed. list. Indeed. Um, so why do you love Splash Mountain? What's that with you? Well, Splash Mountain's my favourite mountain. I mean, this is our collective top five. Yes. And I don't know whether or not you would probably put Thunder above that if it was just yours. Are they neck kind of neck, interchangeable? Yeah. For me, Splash Mountain is um, my one of my favourite rides in the Magic Kingdom, obviously. Um, it's my favourite mountain and I like it because um, I like the fact that it's a long ride. Mm -hmm. What is it, about 10 minutes? Yeah. Maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, so even though it sometimes has a long queue, especially in the hotter months, um, you know, you could be waiting a while, but I feel like you get your good rides worth. Like, mm -hmm. You get your money's worth, basically, with Splash. Um, I like all the animatronics. I like, again, that it's a Disney classic. I like the songs. And yeah, I just like a log flu. It's cool. Show us your balls. Pretty good show us your balls. Does I mean, anyone else hear that? Cause... Not the words, but that's all I can hear. <laughs> it's so awful. <laughs> no, um, I love Splash Mountain. Again, yeah. I'll say it again and again and again, but tells a story. Looks amazing from the outside. You want to ride it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a centerpiece. And... It's full of classic Disney Imagineering, classic mm -hmm. animatronics, um, some great scenes like the boat scene at the end. Yeah, with all the little animatronics. Yeah. yeah and it's got a good drop. Yeah, good Can't songs. Yeah, and it's also you get a good picture with it. You've seen like, I don't know whether you've seen all the kind of pictures that go viral of people doing funny mm. things on the drop of Splash Mountain, but you get a good photo. Um, it's a, like, we always try and sit near the back because then you yeah. don't get a complete soak in, but you do get splashed. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just really good. I love it. And at number one is... The Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Who could guess that that was our favourite? I know, we've only talked about it a little bit. We only own like numerous amounts of merchandise. 
But anyway, yeah, Haunted Mansion, it's a classic. That was the postman, oh, sorry. The postman. Uh, yeah, it's a classic attraction. In my opinion, I mean, I've not been on the other ones in the other parks mm. in, around the world, but I think that the Orlando one looks the coolest from the outside. Yeah, Personally. I would agree. I love that building. Yeah. That conservatory, when you, and the queue that where it winds around it, it's yeah, like you're getting and you closer and closer to the mansion. Oh. Yeah, I love the queue, I love the graveyard stones, I love the fact that there's that little story to do with like all of the family members. Yeah, the murders. Yeah, I like the little pet cemetery at the end. The actual like ride vehicles, the doom buggies are cool. Um, Ghost horse. I just love it, I love everything about it. Um, I love all the merchandise. I love the shop at the mm-hmm. end of Haunted Mansion, uh, Memento Mori. Oh, I love what the, a shop. I love the fact that it's got like such a cult following um, and such a fandom around it. But I mean, I don't like the movie, but I like the uh, ride. It's a masterpiece. Anything else you want to say about Haunted Mansion? Oh. Why do you love it? I'll repeat myself again. Complete story, complete ride. No, um, it's just walls to the ceiling to the floor full of femen it's yeah. some of the best on disney property still you know always has been still is mm-hmm. um some and also, great old school effects with the peppers go i was just about to say like it had that kind of it was quite was it quite advanced at the time when yeah. it was opened i mean peppers ghost is a very old effect but mm. it's very effective and that's how they do the little and it still looks effective now though. people yeah it looks great yeah um again tells the story when you go out into the garden yeah. and it's just really good and the cast members are always really good that yeah, work there as well I love it when a ride has cast members in character mm-hmm. um, and Hunt Mansion is one of the best for that yeah I just love everything about it um, and I love all the merchandise and things that goes alongside of it and just the following that it has I, I do think that it's worth the hype um, mm-hmm. totally debatable as to whether or not you need a fast pass for it sometimes you do sometimes you don't um, yeah but like I said, we do, it does have that queue, which is yeah, great. Yeah, it's worth queuing. It's worth seeing the queue at least once. And we even got stuck on this ride and we still aren't sick oh, of it. Oh, in front of the bloody... I the can't hand, say that. The hand. The, the grandfather clock, yeah. And the... Yeah. We got stuck in front of that oh. for, It must have been like five, six minutes. Yeah, but... but it felt like an eternity. But it was cool. Yeah, I just love it. So. So, that was my top five. What's your top five rides in Magic Kingdom? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Yeah, are we missing your favourite ride? Um, there's obviously lots of others that mm-hmm. we love, but this is our absolute favourites collectively. Um, and so we're going to be probably talking about other parks in the next upcoming videos. Yeah. So keep an eye out for them. Let us know what you think of this series as well. Yeah. If you think it's a good idea, if you don't, you know, we're trying new things because yeah. we want to make the most of it for us and for you. So. Yeah. And we want to try and make these videos a little bit more cohesive so we're not just rambling on like we're doing like now. right now. So let's so, end it. Yeah. So anyway, give us a like and leave us a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another top five video. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.